Oh, oh shit. Let's try this again. Oh boy. Yeah, I missed a week again. As much as I would have liked to have stuck to it, things just got busy uh, with this shoot. It was kind of cool though, being able to, you know, do an episode with my phone and my iPad. So hopefully as the shoot progresses, I'll be able to do it more weekly, hopefully. Especially now that uh, things are coming down a bit because it's Chinese New Year coming up next week. So we're gonna have a week long break. So that should help. But yeah, it wasn't just the shoot that delayed the episode. It was also this fucker over here. Now, right now it doesn't look too bad, but um, last Thursday, it did not look good. Um, basically I woke up and my eye felt funky and I noticed that it was swollen and felt really annoying and uncomfortable. So I went to the doctors and first they said it was uh, conjunctivitis or pink eye. And uh, I went for another checkup today just to be safe because I'm gonna be shooting again tomorrow. And they said it wasn't pink eye, it's a sty. So yeah, a sty is an eye infection and it's uncomfortable as hell, but Hey, it's getting better, because it doesn't look as bad as how it did last week, so that's good. I was on antibiotics, these eye drops that help soothe the eye, but at the same time, the liquid goes down to your throat from the eyeball. Freaky, right? And it goes to your throat and it tastes absolutely horrendous. And the doctor said, like, you gotta drink water after taking those eye drops for at least an hour because it can cause a sore throat if you don't, you know, wash it down. Which makes you go, what the hell is in those eye drops? There's another pill for to help the swelling and also this cream that I need to put in my eyeball every night. Obviously at night before I go to sleep, otherwise I just have this clear film over my eye which is kind of annoying. But yeah, I have to insert it in my eyeball and just swirl it around. When it's eye shit, it does kind of get a bit scary. It's still uncomfortable but much better than the weekend where I was just lying on the sofa and basically watched all the screams in anticipation for the next Scream movie, the one that's coming out. So I watched Scream 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then I kind of got into a dimension binge because last night we watched Final Destination. Those are fun movies, that era. Lots of fun. But yeah, hopefully tomorrow it'll be even better. Gonna wear something to cover the eyes just in case. But yeah, it's, it's not fun having an eye infection. That's for damn sure. But like I said, being on the shoot and the shoot has actually been going really well. It's weird because I had a bit of concern simply because I haven't just directed in a long, long time. I've been directing, sure, but directing whilst handling the camera, also editing, maybe producing, like, you know, it's been a really long time since I've been able to just sit in the chair and direct. Although truth be told, I wasn't sitting much because in the hotel that we were shooting, the chairs for some reason just aggravated my spine quite a bit, no matter what position I sat in. So it would just fuck up the nerves around my shoulder there. So I would spend a lot of the time just standing as straight as possible, you know, looking at the monitors standing. So yeah, it's, it's interesting just directing again. Cause I think the last time I was just Directing would have been, I think it might have been Showdown, you know? And the last time I directed a TV series would have been, was it Ghost? It might have been Ghost season two. So it's been a while. So there's a bit of concern there because it's also not my script and wanting to make sure that I understood the script completely, you know, wanting to make sure that I have all my shots planned, just a lot of things. And what I discovered number one was it was like, you know, putting an old coat back on again and realizing it still fits. Cause the second the first day of shoot happened, I was just comfortable. Like it was fun just directing. It was a hell of a lot of fun because my mind is just concentrating on directing the show as opposed to where I'm thinking about directing and shooting and how I'm gonna edit it later. I mean, I'm still thinking those things, but I'm also not handling those things. I always shoot to edit anyway. So I'm thinking about the edit, yes, but I'm also free of the thought that I have to like, you know, ingest this footage later and then go through the rushes and then cut it together. Like, it's, it's kind of cool not thinking about that stuff. That's right! And it's really been a blast. Like, the entire team is just on point. And working with the other directors as well has been 
actually a lot of fun. Mian's the showrunner, so she's always there if there's any questions regarding, you know, the overall story arc or whether the, you know, idea of how the character's motivation is fits for certain things or whether these type of camera movements fit within the overall story and show. You know, we're also tag teaming a lot because like you finish one scene and then just tag your it and then the other director continues. Or sometimes we have scenes where because it's a murder mystery, you know, like a scene from one episode later on in my episode might reveal more. So we're always talking with each other like, okay, you're directing the scene like from which point to which point. Okay, if we continue this shot over to here, then I can do my bit. So it's it's been fun. Totally fun. The cast have been awesome. You know, shout out to the cast because they are absolutely on point and totally shows how much of a benefit having a lot of rehearsals does. Especially because TV shoots, you know, I want to say just in Malaysia, but really in the world, TV shoots are, you know, a fast paced marathon. You know, like there's usually not a lot of time to set up and go through and rehearse that much on set, you know, and the entire cast, like I said, has been such a pleasure to work with and the crew as well like it's just been crazy i'd shout them all out but it's just a ton of people <laughs> you know like it's a cast and crew of over 60 so as opposed to forgetting some people's names i'm just gonna shout out the cast and crew you guys are awesome it's kind of odd because i honestly thought i wouldn't be able to do this anymore i thought i'd be just doing my own thing and you know a couple small jobs here and there corporate videos ads web series is whatever you know, to be able to shoot a TV series again is, you know, it's a blessing. Like, I'm really thankful for it. Uh, I just wish this crap wasn't bugging me right now, but hey, something will happen. I'm sure it'll clear up. Anyways, that's it for this week's episode. Fingers crossed. There'll be another one next week.